I know you've heard of ChatGPT, but are you familiar with OpenAI's app called Doll E? I'll show you how to use both of these combined to improve your SEO and your marketing. Okay, so here's the topic we're going to focus on. How can AI improve marketing? So the first thing I'll do is ask ChatGPT that question. How can AI improve marketing? Let's see what it says. AI has the potential to revolutionize marketing by providing new insights, automating tasks, and personalizing experiences. Here are a few ways that AI can improve marketing. And as you can see, it's coming up with many different ways on how AI can improve marketing. So this is the topic we're going to focus on today, and we're going to use this going forward to see about improving our SEO-related content with this specific topic. AI and marketing. So to summarize what ChatGPT gave us, predictive analytics, personalization, chatbots, content optimization, automated advertising, and lead scoring. Six topics, six relevant ways that AI can improve marketing. So let's now take that information and move on to the next step in improving our SEO with ChatGPT in conjunction with DALL-E. So my next focus is going to be just creating a web page with good content regarding this topic. So the next thing I'll ask ChatGPT is to give me a title tag related to this topic. Give me some title tag ideas related to AI and marketing. Sure. How AI is transforming marketing insights and trends. AI driven marketing strategies for success, maximizing ROI with AI powered marketing. I like number three so far. It gave us 10 very good title tag ideas. Now a title tag is what your web page is going to be called. Okay, so let me give you a few examples on what a title tag actually is. I'm gonna go to any web page I have. Let's say for example, I go to my Airtable consulting web page, okay? So it's metricsmule.com slash Airtable. To take a quick look at what my title tag is, I installed the Chrome extension over here on my right hand side and my title tag is Airtable Consulting Powerful Productivity Metrics Mule. That's my title tag. And I'm using the Chrome extension called SEO Meta in One Click. SEO Meta in One Click is an extremely helpful extension to level up your SEO. It's going to provide you with all of the meta descriptions, title tags, and H1s for any web page on the internet. I'll show you a few more examples on what we're going to do. All right, so back on my website, go to Tomball SEO, okay? You can see my H1 is Tomball SEO and websites, but that doesn't necessarily mean my title tag is that. If I click my plugin again, here's my title tag. Skyrocket your website with Tomball SEO, Metrics Mule, okay? And then below that, you could see my meta description. Let's go to one more. I'll click on local SEO and let's see what the title tag is for that one, okay? So my H1 is local SEO Houston, but what's my title tag? It says increase your exposure local SEO metrics mule and then you could see my description. So you could see that the H1 on each web page isn't necessarily going to be my title tag. Let's go to video SEO services, okay? You could see my H1 is rank up with video SEO services, but what's my title tag? Title tag, number one for video SEO services, rank up with metrics mule, okay? So again, that Chrome extension is called SEO meta in one click. It's very, very convenient. I highly recommend it because again, like I said, it's going to provide you with all of the title tags and H1s and meta description for any web page on the internet. So that's what I kind of use as a measuring stick to see what each web page is title tagged on my site with each H1. So we're going to use that data and that's where we're asking ChatGPT to please provide me with some good title tag ideas for a new web page. Okay, so we're back over here on ChatGPT and here's the title tags it gave us. So, so far I like number three, maximizing ROI with AI powered marketing. The reason I like number three is because it starts with a action, maximizing ROI. And I like that word and it has ROI and it has AI and the word marketing. So just for this sake, let's go ahead and copy this and let's use this title tag for our new web page. So we chose a title tag and everything's gonna be revolved around that specific title tag and verbiage, okay? So let's go back to ChatGBT. The next thing we're gonna do is say, give me a meta description for this title tag. Give me some meta descriptions for this title tag, maximizing ROI with AI powered marketing. Okay, here we go. It's already spitting out one to two of them. Discover how AI powered marketing strategies can help you achieve maximum ROI. Learn how to leverage machine learning to optimize your campaigns and drive better results. So, so far, number one is very good, very impressive, and it falls within the limits of the maximum amount of words you want in a meta description, which is usually less than 150. Okay, so it gave us five really good ideas. We have number one, two, three, four, and five. I like number five, so we're going to
we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that to the list. So now we're gonna come over here in my handy air table. And this is where I'm keeping up with everything. This is where I'm organizing all of my data. So you can see so far in my script, we have our title tag, maximizing ROI with AI powered marketing. And then the meta description is going to be AI powered marketing is the future of digital marketing. Explore the latest trends and best practices in AI driven marketing to unlock new opportunities, drive growth and maximize your ROI. So just like that, ChatGPT gave us both a very good title tag and a very good meta description. Now that we have both, it's time to move on to the next phase, asking ChatGPT to give me a good H1 related to this title tag. So I asked ChatGPT, give me some H1 ideas for this title tag, maximizing ROI with AI powered marketing. Let's hit the send button and see what it comes up with. Here are some H1 ideas for the title tag. Maximizing ROI with the power of AI, a guide to AI powered marketing. So far, so good. It's given us five so far, six. Wow, these are very good. I like them, they're powerful, they have action words, and it has good catchy phrases and words like ROI, benefits, AI powered, maximize. So maximize ROI with the power of AI. I like number 10. The reason I like number 10 is because my title tag is maximizing, and we don't always necessarily want our title tag to be the same as our H1. We want our H1 and title tag to definitely have some similarities, but we want to take advantage of having similar words and phrases, but yet not worded 100% the exact same. Okay, so going back to ChatGPT, I'll show you the option that we're going to go with. Back on ChatGPT, and let's just go ahead and copy and paste the 10th result it gave us. Again, I like it because of the catchy words and phrases it uses, and it's pretty relevant to the topic that we're gonna stick with. Okay, so I'll bring my Airtable back over here again, and you can see now I have my title tag, I have my meta description, and I have my H1, okay? What is the H1? I'll show you what an H1 is. My H1 is gonna be the first bold title you see on each web page. Okay, so in this case, on my homepage, my H1 is Houston SEO Marketing. As we can see, my title is Increase Your Exposure, Local SEO Houston. Here's my description, work with a local SEO Houston consultant, right? So we know what we have as far as the title and the description. So now let's look at the H1. The H1 in this case is going to be just simple, Local SEO Houston. It's not 100% identical to this because the title has more words, but it's gonna be very similar. I'll go to my Chrome extension, Results Driven Automotive SEO Company. That's my title. I also have my meta description down here. It also has automotive SEO company in the description. And my H1 is automotive SEO. And then my H2 will be automotive SEO services. So you can see they're not 100% identical, but it includes my key important keywords I want to have in each phase. I have my title tag, my meta description, my H1, and my H2. Not 100% identical, but very similar. And that's what we're looking for. So far, ChatGPT is really catching on and giving me exactly what I'm looking for. I asked it for the title tag, the meta description, and H1, and it kind of kept everything in mind on what my topic was. And look at this, going back to ChatGPT, we could see how it's keeping everything updated with my title tag, maximizing ROI with AI-powered marketing. It's including that in both the H1 and the meta description, wow. which is exactly what you want to do in SEO. Okay, so back to ChatGPT, now that we have a title tag, a meta description, and an H1. Let's do one more thing and ask it to simply give us an H2 now, relating to the H1. So I'm asking ChatGPT, give me some H2 ideas related to this H1. And I copy and pasted my H1. I'm gonna hit enter, let's see what it comes up with. So it should keep in mind that what my H1 is. And so what it's going to do is keeping what my H1 is in mind, it's providing me with some H2s that are very good, very similar, using those important keywords I chose for my H1. Check this out. Very quickly, it's giving me some very good H2s. Harnessing the power of predictive analytics for maximum ROI. Maximizing ROI with AI-powered email marketing. Tips and tricks, very good. So I can have different H2s with different functions under each one. Okay, I like all 10 of these, but for simplicity, I'm gonna copy and paste number eight. And now let's go back to my Airtable base and we can see now we have the title tag, the meta description, an H1 and an H2. I mean, this is very powerful stuff. It's all very accurate and it's very catchy with good verbs and action words that will really stick out and stand out in front of a user's eye. So far, so good. I really like what ChatGPT has provided us. So the last few things we do, we already have our web page set up as far as the title tags, H1 and H2s and meta descriptions, but now it's time for us to determine what exactly we should put on that web page as far as the content 
content is concerned. And again, that's where ChatGPT is going to come in. We're going to ask it to simply provide us with some very good content related to some of my H1 and H2s that we chose. Let's get right back to it. I'm asking ChatGPT to write content for my website related to maximizing ROI with the latest AI-powered marketing techniques and strategies. In today's digital age, businesses need to be smarter and more strategic than ever to stand out and succeed. One of the most powerful tools in a marketer's arsenal is artificial intelligence, AI, which has the potential to transform the way we approach marketing and drive maximum return on investment. ROI. AI-powered marketing techniques and strategies offer a range of benefits that can help businesses of all sizes optimize their marketing efforts and achieve their business objectives. Here are just a few examples of how AI can maximize ROI. Personalization. Predictive analytics. Automated advertising. Chatbots. AI assistance. Lead scoring. Summarize. These are just a few examples of how AI-powered marketing can help businesses maximize their ROI. Very, very good and very impressive. I have everything I need to create a brand new web page for my website related to AI technology and marketing. And so the last thing we're going to do is focus on our images. What sort of images do we want to place on this web page? We're going to ask OpenAI's app, Doll E to create all of these images for us to both put on our website and to create YouTube thumbnails that go hand in hand with all of the content, H1, title tags, and meta descriptions we're using for our brand new web page. So let's get right to that. So the next thing I'll do is ask ChatGPT, give me some good thumbnail ideas related to maximizing ROI with AI-powered marketing. Here we go. A thumbnail featuring a computer screen with a graph showing an upward trend with AI-powered marketing related graphics around it. Very nice. It's already given me five. It's coming up with number six. Number five is good. A thumbnail with a split screen image showing a traditional marketing campaign on one side and an AI powered marketing campaign on the other with the AI side performing better. Very nice. I like this. I like all 10 of these. I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these ideas. Okay. So now the fun part begins with all the visual stuff. I'm over here on Dolly. Okay. If you're not familiar with it, check it out. It performs similar to ChatGPT. So you can see right here, start with a detailed description and it gives you an example in the search bar. But here are a few examples of some AI generated images using OpenAI's tool Dolly. I could see this fish in this fishbowl. And here is what the description was. 3D render of a cute tropical fish in an aquarium on a dark blue background digital art. How about this one over here? An armchair in the shape of an avocado. Or this, a photo of a white fur monster standing in a purple room. An expressive oil painting of a basketball player dunking depicted as an explosion of a nebula. <laughs> Pretty fascinating. So if you want a realistic photo, make sure you input realistic in your description. If you want more of a 3D rendering type generation, make sure you put 3D render in your description. So this is what I typed in DALL-E, 3D render of a futuristic robot typing on a computer. And it gave me exactly what I was looking for right here. Let's try a few other items and see what I can come up with. Okay, check this one out. High quality thumbnail featuring a computer screen with a graph showing an upward trend with AI powered marketing related graphics around it. Okay, I mean, this isn't really ideal. Okay, and here's one more. I asked it a 3D render of a rocket blasting off. And I'll just emphasize, I think it's important when you ask Dolly to generate your images to either use 3D render or high quality or realistic photo. Because if you're not specific like that, it might provide something to you that's more abstract and that's not what you're looking for. So I would suggest really being as detailed as possible as far as the type of image you want. In my case, I'm looking for a 3D render. So I'll continue with that trend. All right, and I'll just go with the last one. 3D render of artificial intelligence. Now you could see did a pretty good job here. And so these are components I could either use in a thumbnail or I can add it as a component within a thumbnail and maybe do some editing and upgrading it a little bit with more effects in a tool like Canva. If I'm gonna compare this to something like Midjourney, I would definitely give Midjourney the thumbs up. There were a few times in Dali where it took extremely too long to generate my image and sometimes it didn't get it so accurate. But again, all of this is relatively new and I think it's only gonna get better as time goes on. So tell me what you guys think. What are your thoughts on this new AI world we're living in, specifically for content creation, digital marketing, and SEO? Thank you so much for watching and please make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'll be doing a lot more videos just like this and you'll be the first one to know when they come out. And until then, we'll see you next time. Rise up, I'm